Hello friends, it's Willie. Thank you for visiting me today on my channel, Disney Your Day. New name coming at some point, I swear. <laughs> I have an Amazon unbagging for you today. Um, this is, I, I may have to start a series called Blame Diamond Grandma because I believe this package is one that I can blame on Diamond Grandma, <laughs> something she showed. And I was like, oh, that's so pretty. I want that. And the price was really reasonable. Um, this one I, I saw on, I believe the channel is Bliss Studios, Bliss Studio Hobbies. I will check on that and leave a link in the description box. But this was something she showed and it was just so adorable. You know that Amazon Prime will be the death of me. <laughs> so let me get to unbagging these. Uh, I, ha I haven't even unopened this package, but based on when it was delivered, I'm pretty sure that this is a blame diamond grandma. Lynn, thank you. Thank you for enabling my habit and my hobby. <laughs> and these, she was showing some florals. I don't have a lot of florals, but I love florals. And there were some in here, if I remember correctly, that might have kind of gotten to me for sentimental reasons. So forgive me for the crinkly noises. This is a six pack. If it is still available, I will leave a link to it in the description box below. Six pack. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so let's see what we have here. Let's see if I can figure out how to open this. Lord have mercy. Oh, come on. There's a flap here somewhere. Let, pardon me while I adjust the light here. I have a little gooseneck lamp clamped to the edge of my table here. I still can't find it. All right, let's come back to the daisies. Let's see if we can find the opening. It, it's here somewhere. Ah, ah, it goes down further than I thought. All right, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, I really do. Uh, we're sticking to the canvas. Okay. Number one, these are all 30 by 40s, if I remember correctly. Drill field is very clear. All letters. I don't see any problems right off the bat. Um, I think there's enough color definition between the G and the O and the fact that the G is printed in black, the O is printed in a, a sort of white or off-white. Those are often problematic. The C is a very different color from either of those. The D, anything curvy like that can get confusing if, if it's not clearly printed. You have a little bit of a white picket fence in the background. I'm not one of the people who goes through all of the drill packets. Rounds. Very standard basic toolkit. So that is one of six. I bet I can get these daisies open now. <laughs> Here we go, here we go, here we go. No, other side? No, it's here. The flap is a little bit longer than I was expecting. I just, all of these were so pretty. This is also 24 colors, all alphabetical symbols. Look at the blues in this. Not a lot of three tens. Okay, where are some? I, I have a feeling I'm going to have some issues. Let me stand up so I can see if I'm actually showing these to you in the viewfinder. 
and the light is problematic now. Um, the B for the three tens and the R. Those colors are a little too close for my liking. I'm trying to see if I can, I don't know that I'm going to be able to see in the camera where the R's are to see. Well, I need my light again. Old eyes, I'm sorry. This is going to be problematic because I'm not sure if these are B's or R's. Yeah, that's that's going to be a little bit of an issue that I will work out <laughs> when I get to that one. Yeah, so symbol clarity is important. It's really important when you're doing these diamond paintings. And in one of my September finishes, my official finish for Drills and Chills and Festival of Witches, I did, I did have to go back and remove and replace some drills because I got two of the symbols confused. So I have a feeling, although those colors are so dark that I don't know that I've actually noticed. <laughs> oh, so pretty. Are those hydrangeas maybe? And then we've got the little tea set, little teacup, little teapot. Are those pastries and some fruit? Yum. I haven't had a snack today. And I'm between meals. <laughs> um there there will be some color blocking here there are there is shading here 24 colors i'm guessing maybe these are all 24 colors i'm not off the bat noticing any trouble with potential confusion of drills. The three tens are a W. That that do you notice that a lot? I, I tend to notice that. Three ten often is a W if they're using uh, an alphabetic code. And and those W's can be a little bit challenging to cover if you're not really precise with your drill placement. Okay, so that was three out of six. Rolling right along, rolling, rolling, rolling. Keep those diamonds rolling. Oh, pretty. This, I, I don't know if that's supposed to be lavender. Oh, but again, we have, I, I will say that that's a coffee cup because I prefer coffee to tea. And we've got some macarons, not macaroons. Macaroons are coconut. These are macarons. And I say them with my really bad French accent. <laughs> For which I will have to beg your forgiveness. It'll be interesting to see how the shading and the color changes render. Again, we have some shading and variation in the background, so this won't get boring. And yeah, I, I, I was going to say, can a 30 by 40 really get boring? And the answer is yes. In my experience, your mileage may vary. <laughs> but I've had 30 by 40s that have gotten boring in the past. It's always a sad thing. Okay, that was four out of six. I think I see some pansies in this one. I've had this in the house for a week or so, more than a week, I think. Uh, oh Lord, what have I done? So I kind of forgot <laughs> what was actually in this set. Oh, here we are riding the struggle bus with the cover. What is going on here? I think, oh, there's tape stuck to that. Have mercy. Yes, we have some beautiful, colorful pansies in a pitcher. Oh, 
And I don't know if that's a heart-shaped cookie or if they're more macarons. <laughs> we have a little pansy here. A little cup with something pink in it. We'll say that's strawberry quick. How about that? I don't know that I would drink anything that color because it would probably taste like Pepto-Bismol. <laughs> I'm sorry. I need to stop the color commentary. Get it? Pink color comment. Never mind. <laughs> um, again, 24 colors. Not seeing anything right off the bat. That might be a problem. There are no three tens in here. Woo, woo, woo. No three tens. You know, I have some canvases that have no three tens, but that doesn't happen all that often. So that was five out of six. And now we round out the Blame Diamond Grandma segment of this video. I'm in a mood today. Are you noticing? Oh, how cute. We have another little, uh, like a cake plate, a pedestal plate with some heart-shaped treats. And I'm guessing maybe this is hot chocolate because that looks like marshmallows. This would be a cute one for, for Valentine's Day. Again, another 30 by 40. Again, 24 colors. The B and the D are a little bit too close for comfort, at least in this light. The G and the O and the C are all different enough. The B and the R are different colors, so I don't think I'll have issues with this one. That's a really sweet one. Somebody could bring me a bouquet of, of posies like that. I would not be offended by that. So that is six out of six for the Blame Diamond Grandma. This actually might be one. I'll have to go back and look and see if this is the, the set of six that I actually was able to find a little cheaper on Amazon than she did. I don't, I don't know if if you've shopped Amazon enough, you, you probably notice that well, I, for pretty just, just, just about anything, not just diamond paintings, but especially with diamond paintings, the price they're charging can vary widely depending on the day and the time of day. Uh, that you take a look at the listings. So I, I think this is the one that I was actually able to get a few dollars less than her. I don't have my my uh, diamond painting journal next to me like I usually do when I'm filming, but I want to say I spent about $14 on the six of these, which I think is more than a fair price. Um, I'll put a link below. Um, hopefully they're still available and maybe you can get them at a, an even better price. So that's the, the set of Blame Diamond Grandma <laughs> purchases. And this one, again, I saw, I think her name is Ashley, but I will link her channel below. She showed this one on her channel and it was so cute. And November, somebody is running a November event next month, and I thought this would be so cute for November. And it's a fall themed, Halloween y sort of thing. And this is folded in half the way they're doing a lot of their newer diamond painting packages these days. And then. <laughs> Your drills and your kit kind of come taped together. Just look at all those oranges. You can tell what season this is meant for. And it looks like there's a little hitchhiker in there. It would help if I put this right side up. How cute is this? I mean, really. 
We've got the two little gnomies down here holding their pumpkins with a cute little sunflower and they have a pumpkin house. We've got the fall leaves falling. Oh, and the sunflower is in a little watering can. I mean, how cute! Let me look at it through the camera here. Make sure I'm, I'm showing you the whole thing. But I mean, look, the, the pumpkin house, people. This is what sold me on this. I love gnomes anyway, and it, it's hard to find a gnome diamond painting that isn't cute. But the pumpkin house, I mean, really, look at it. Look at, look at it. Ooh. And I just, the gnomes are adorable. So that's a nice autumn, fall themed diamond painting. 30 by 40. Let's see, we've got 25 colors. 25 colors on a canvas this size means we've probably got some confetti somewhere, but I'm not seeing a lot of it. Drill field looks pretty good. And we've got, I'm sorry, we've got glare. Hello. We still have glare. It's the plastic cover. Let me see if there's anything potentially problematic. These are all... Oh, we've got new, alphanumeric. We've got numbers up to eight. The eight and the six are very different colors. That's good. The five is a different color from the six and the eight. Curvy numbers and letters can get confusing depending on how the drill field looks. The three, uh, the three and the six aren't likely to be confused because the opening on the three is that way <laughs> and the opening on the six is this way. So those are less likely to be confused. I apologize, I just sniffed, sniffled by the camera. My allergies are acting up. All right, there's no Q, there's no O, so no getting those confused. This is good. Yeah, I, I think this one will probably work up quickly because everything looks pretty clear. The code looks pretty clear. I don't see anything that can get really easily confused. Now this is a little bit different than a lot of diamond paintings that I get in that there's only one legend and it's on the upper right. I'm used to seeing them in the upper left and the bottom right. So isn't that cute? And I will leave a link to this as well in the description box. So tell me, do you have a favorite of all of these? Can you also blame Diamond Grandma for some of your purchases? <laughs> Um, tell me what you're working on. Tell me what your favorite of these uh, might be. And above all, tell me if you also have a diamond painting channel because I would love to come check it out and subscribe to your channel and watch your videos as well. Please remember to do the YouTube things. Like, comment, subscribe. I've had a few new subscribers lately and I want to say hi. Thank you so much. And if I have not returned the favor and subscribed to your channel, shoot me an email or something and, and let me know because I want to follow you as well. Thank you so much for visiting with me today, friends. Stay tuned for another video. Take care, be safe, and try to make time every day to do something that makes you happy. Thanks for tuning in, friends. Bye-bye.